Manchester United kicking off 2019 exactly how we finished 2018 with a win under Oli Gunnar Solskjaer. Not only a win today, a clean sheet. I think it's only the third we've had this season so far in the Premier League. And overall, that's a game you've really got to be happy with for Manchester United. You know, in the first couple of games for Solskjaer, it really was riding the crest of the wave. 5-1 against Cardiff, 3-1, as many, many of you pointed out, against Huddersfield, 4-1 against Bournemouth. It was just good feeling for United. But going into this Newcastle game, it was a different sort of game. A Rafa Benitez team you know is going to be defensively very organised and pretty disciplined. And in that first 45 minutes, I wasn't surprised to see United going in 0-0 at half-time. We had a couple of chances early on. But when Newcastle sat into their shape, we struggled to break them down. We really didn't have any runners in behind. Where we, In the first couple of games, we had Rashford and Lingard running in behind, creating space. But we couldn't do that because Newcastle's team was sitting so deep. Things had to change in the second half. And Ole Gunnar Solskjaer, you've absolutely got to give him the tactical credit for making the substitutions that he did at the time that he did. He brought on Lukaku and he brought on Sanchez. And by doing that, he changed the shape of the team. And immediately Rashford had a free kick, he pinged it in, Lukaku was there first to react, scored with his first touch within a few seconds of coming on the pitch. And you've got to give Lukaku credit for being in that position, whether you like him or not as a striker, and you've got to give Solskjaer the credit. The reason I'm giving Solskjaer a lot of credit there is because, say that was a game under Jose Mourinho, if Man United were nil-nil down there away at Newcastle, you know that would have been Fellaini coming on, Lukaku coming on, and United would have played long ball. We certainly wouldn't have played... On the, on the pitch and on the floor like we did in that second, in that last 30 minutes, sorry. United changed their style. We were more aggressive and we were more attacking in the style that we all wanted to see. And that is a big step in the right direction for Solskjaer because so many people have been saying, ah, oh, look, it's Cardiff, it's Huddersfield, it's Bournemouth. There's no real test there. Newcastle, they may be struggling down the bottom there, but it's a Rafa Benitez team. You know they're going to be sitting deep. And ultimately, it was a mistake by the keeper, which gave us the opportunity, but then we punished them. Rashford scoring a wonderful second there. Cool finish to make it 2-0 after a great breakaway move. But just Man United now, you know, we saw something different today from this Solskjaer team. If the first three games were all about sexy, attacking football, goals galore, then today was something different. Up against a very stout defence under a good manager, United managed to break them down. And over the last few years, we've massively struggled against teams like this. Teams that sit in two deep banks of four, ones that you can't break through with lines, ones that you can't pass in behind. We've struggled massively. And we've come away with frustrated points in those games. But today, we've come away with three points, four wins out of four, and a clean sheet. That's a huge step. And you've got to give credit to some of our defenders today. I think Luke Shaw was fantastic. I think Victor Lindelof, for me, was phenomenal. Arguably man in the match, although I'd probably give it to Marcus Rashford after another goal and another assist. It's, it's wicked watching Rashford right now. We're seeing the same sort of Rashford that broke into the team under Louis van Gaal, the one that was so full of energy against Midgetland and Arsenal. He's got that hunger back and he's got the finishing touch back, the clinical finishing touch. Rashford really is a joy to watch. Pogba today, after such wonderful performances, was a bit more muted, but that was because of the style of play in Newcastle. He didn't have the space to find the passes in behind, and he rarely, really had time on the ball because the midfield was so stacked. How Shelby didn't get sent off for that tackle on him, I don't know. He should get a retrospective ban for that. But as many positives as we have for today, there's one thing I absolutely have to point out. And that is that Antonio Valencia should not be playing for Manchester United anymore. In that first half, United's attacks, all of them came down the left. Yes, that was because we had Pogba there, Shaw there and Martial there. But it was also because we had, also, sorry, because we had Antonio Valencia on the right-hand side. He offered nothing going forward. Absolutely nothing. Christian Atsu's chances all came because Valencia was out of position as well. So it's not just in the attacking sense where Valencia was at fault today. And with Valencia and Mata on the right-hand side, United had no spark down the right. I'm kind of surprised that Solskjaer didn't make the change down there a little bit earlier. But Valencia's time is done. If Gary Neville knew at uh, half-time against West Brom that his United career was over, Valencia should already have known that his career is over. And I can't see him play for United next season. He's wearing the captain's armband. He's done a lot of good for the club, but he's got to move on. 
and I'm not trying to be too harsh at him, but we've got to look at how to improve this team. We've got to see the weaknesses in the team as well as the positives and not just get blinded by goals and clean sheets. But today, United could have come away with a point. There could have been headlines saying Solskjaer struggles against resolute Newcastle. But instead, United have got another three points. Four wins from four. We're now six points off the top four. Only a few weeks after everybody saying the top four was going to be impossible this season. Solskjaer has brought a good feeling back into this football club. And today, we saw him make the right substitutions at the right time. And the players responded by knocking two past Newcastle. You've got to be happy about that. I mean, United right now, it's just... It's happy feelings all round, isn't it? It really, really is. Popper nearly got that goal at the end there. So close. It was unlucky. It was a tight angle, to be fair. But three points, a clean sheet, four wins from four. Alexis Sanchez coming back into the team. Thought he looked hungry. A really lovely pass for Rashford to make it 2-0 at the end there. It's just a lot of reasons to be very positive about what we're seeing from this United team. Of course, we're going to come up against harder teams and they're going to be the real tests. But for me, today was a big test in comparison to Cardiff, Bournemouth and Huddersfield. It's a different type of game. The sort that's frustrated United over the years. But today, it didn't frustrate us. We scored two, we got three points and we kept the run going. Who is your man of the match? Let me know in the comments below. As always, if you're new to the channel, drop a like on United People's TV. But come on, subscribe if you're new. We'll see you soon.